Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have a really, really, really special pen here today. This is a pen that I didn't think I would ever own in my collection. It's a pen I have lusted after for a very, very long time. And as much as I wanted it, I just didn't think I would be able to add it to my collection sometimes the stars align and sometimes it's fate or kismet and you get the opportunity to maybe be in the right place at the right time and manage to purchase a pen and this is most certainly one of those pens and I am still in shock and in awe and so is my bank account <laughs> for the purchase of this pen but you will see that this is a special pen it is a Montegrappa pen you know I like Italian pens I have Visconti's I have uh, Montegrappa's I have Leonardo's I, I I have other Italian brands Omar Scrivo I do like Italian pens but this pen actually kicks all of them into touch so let's do an unboxing here now this is a big box i'm gonna have struggle so i'm gonna have to open it off camera so here you will see the game of thrones now this is a beautiful montagrappa booklet uh this pen was made in 2018 2019 uh, and you've got here the Montegrappa Modern Alchemy. Uh, and it details all of uh, about Montegrappa, but also about the pen and about Jon Snow. So let's put that booklet to one side. And you will see there it says Game of Thrones. It's a nice uh, bright blue box that this comes in. You can see my studio lights. And if we open the box, and I'm going to try and not bump the camera here, you will see, uh, first of all, you get a bottle of ink. And I want to say this looks like either blue or purple. It looks a little bit more of a blurple to me. Uh, I think it might be blue. I've not opened it yet. So I'm going to have to open that and uh, take a look at that ink at some point. The... Other thing that you get here is a silver polishing cloth and then you also get uh, the pen and I'm just going to have a look. There's nothing actually under uh, these. Uh, these are just false bottom drawers and then you get the pen. So let me open the bag of this pen and you will see this pen in all its glory this is a beautiful beautiful pen so this pen was originally released in 2019 it's made from a, a process which is called lost wax casting uh, this is uh, basically named the game of thrones winter is here and the reason why it's winter is here uh, because winter is no longer coming it is here it has just knocked down the wall and marching towards Winterfell. This is a limited edition pen. This is a limited edition pen of 300 sterling silver fountain pens, 300 sterling silver rollables, and then seven 18 karat gold 
fountain pens and seven 18 karat gold rollables. This is the silver version, not the, the 18 karat gold version, but this is really, really beautiful. So the pen you will see here is actually made of the Montegrappa stacked celluloid, which is actually something that Montegrappa call shiny lines celluloid. The pen is then wrapped in this sterling silver, which is made from that ancient technique of lost wax casting. And the process of molten metal poured into a mold created with a wax model. Once a mold is made, the wax is melted and drained away to leave you with a highly detailed mold to create these fine, fine details. The cap itself, I'll show you here. Uh, this cap sits Viserion, the undead ice dragon. And you can see, if I show you here, you'll see his eyes there. His eyes are a nice blue gem. And you can also see the wings of his uh, cap wrapping around the body there. And they then wrap around, you see his spine. And then it wraps around what is essentially the base of the cap. You can also see that he's breathing ice as well. Because he is the ice dragon. And you can also see that the claws there wrap very tightly around that celluloid there. So this is a really beautiful pen. And you can see Viserion's head is actually quite detailed. Uh, I do think this is actually a really, really good uh, work of art that Montegrabba have actually created here. The barrel, there are actually two figures here. And if I show you here, you can see the first one the, on the front of the pen there. And this is the Knight's King. And this is the leader of the White Walkers and the Undead Army of Whites. He is the main villain of Game of Thrones. The detail in his armor also, you can see there, right there, is absolutely exquisite. It shows the Night's King sigil, and also around the feet of the Night King, you can see some skulls, and you can also see a raven there as well. Now, on the rear of the pen, you can also see a white walker, and he is standing with a spear, the face extremely detailed, you can see there. That is really quite detailed. He also has blue eyes like Viserion, the ice dragon. And also, you can also see that between the two figures here, you do actually have Game of Thrones. Now, this is something that I typically wasn't a fan of. Uh, if you haven't seen the show, though, or you haven't read the books... And you really don't know what Game of Thrones is about. I guess it's it's nice to have that on the pen. But I probably could have done without that, to be honest. Uh, but I, I think it, it's in a place where you're probably not going to see it as much. The celluloid, though, is quite amazing. Uh, I did think that the celluloid, it was a little bit of a shame that you don't see the beauty of all of the celluloid there on the pen. Uh, however... In hindsight, I don't think there would have been any other celluloid or resin that, that would have made this pen stand out the way that the Shiny Lines celluloid has. So I'm actually quite glad that Montegrappa did use uh, the Shiny uh, Lines celluloid there. Now, if I unscrew the cap, you'll see a number six size nib, and that is a medium Montegrappa nib. And you can also see the sigil there logo on uh, the nib as well. And it has an ebonite feed. Now, <laughs> this is a big pen. It's not a light pen. Uh, can you post the cap? You actually can. But this is so back weighted that it's just, it, you would not be able to write with it. This is a heavy, heavy pen. But I have to say this is a really beautiful pen as well the amount of detail you can see the beauty of that stacked celluloid there this really is 
a, a stunning, stunning material in its own right. But then to have this uh, lovely silver overlay on this pen is absolutely stunning. I have to say, though, that the best, best part of this really is that cap. Just look at that amount of detail on that cap. It is insane that you have that amount of detail and that it looks very 3D looking. This really is a beautiful pen. And I honestly thought I would never actually add this pen to my collection. And uh, it really is uh, an amazing day for me because I, I really thought that I would never own this pen. And just things like the stars that align and ultimately sometimes you're in the right place at the right time and you get to pick up what is an insane pen and this i'm going to be cherishing in my collection for a very very long time i am going to be writing with it a lot of people ask me do i write with my pens i always always write with my pens They're in my collection and I, I am a user of pens so i do have to write with them but this is going to be inked up and as with all of my pens that this pen will be cherished and will be looked after very very nicely so very very glad that i've managed to add this to my collection and i am still st in stun and awe that this is now in my collection so i think with that what we'll do is we'll do uh, a pen comparison well we'll do a size check we'll do a weight check we'll do a pen comparison and then we'll do a writing sample so the full length of the pen we are looking about i want to say 158 millimeters in length the length of the cap is 75 millimeters in length that is a very very long cap i have not seen a cap i think this long for a uh, long time and then the length of the body here, we're looking at 135 millimeters to the tip of the nib or the tip of the tine. So this is a, a very, very uh, weighty pen. And you can just see that there in, in my hand. It, it actually feels, it actually feels quite, quite nice. The, you don't, although the silver is quite textured and quite proud, it really isn't uncomfortable to hold. It's just resting in my hand. And if I were to write with it there, that, that is actually quite nice. So so this really it is a nice pen. And I've just seen, I hadn't seen this before now. Not only have you got the ice dragon there breathing the fire, sorry, the ice, um, it's also around the base here of the cap as well. So they've actually done that really nicely. So you can kind of see that the ice is coming around here and all the way around that cap. So this really is beautiful. So I think we'll, we'll do a weight check now. Now, this is uninked at the moment, but this is a heavy pen. We are looking at just under 108 grams in weight. So this is the heaviest pen that I have in my collection. The weight of the cap, we are looking at just under 50 grams in weight, which... I want to say it's probably the heaviest one. Uh, I might actually have another one around 50 or one that I've reviewed before around 50 grams in weight. And then the weight of the body is just under 59 grams in weight. Now, again, that's quite a heavy pen. It's certainly around about the heaviest in my collection, I would say, today. I've got some Inotos that, that are probably... Uh, almost as heavy they they range with the cap around about 95 grams versus the 108 grams there but just look at the detail here on this cap this is absolutely 
stunning. Uh, I really, really do like the look of this. This is absolutely stunning. So for me, this is a beautiful pen. And you can see up close here, you've got the Game of Thrones. And you've also got those figures there. And it really is quite amazing. So very, very glad I could pick this pen up. And I am privileged to pick this pen up. I'm not sure that I can ever top this pen. I, I think this is probably the pen in my collection uh, that, that I have purchased. And I'm not sure that I could better this in any way, shape or form. So that's going to be an interesting one to see what happens in the future but for me i'm going to enjoy this pen now uh, i think let's so go and do a comparison with other pens so from left to right we have a visconti st basil we have another visconti st basil we have a visconti daedalus we have a visconti blue ripple we have the montegrappa bartolomeo ferrocina in shiny circles celluloid we have the Game of Thrones, Winter is Here. We have the Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. And this is the same celluloid that it, the Game of Thrones, Winter is Here, is made out of. So you can see the beautiful celluloid there um, where it's only peeping through that silver overlay. You can see it here on the, uh, the Shiny Lines Dove. We have a Visconti Last Templar Jacques de Molay. We have a Visconti Camelot. And we have a Visconti Ecstasy de Oud. So I think let's now go and do a writing sample. Yes, I'm going to write with this. This is a pen that I am going to write with a lot. Um, I, might not, I might not be able to actually take it very far because this pen is going to need a big case because of the, the diameter of that cap is, is quite wide. So this is the uh, Montegrappa. And it's the Game of Thrones. And it is Winter is Here. And it is a medium, and it's an 18 cat gold nib. Just managed to get that on there. Now, I was a little bit unsure about what ink to use. Uh, I typically, with the shiny lines, shiny circle celluloid, use a gray ink, diamine earl gray. Uh, a few friends have said you should use a like a red ink for fire breathing dragon. I actually think probably a blue ink would actually make more sense because of the ice dragon. Um, but today I've actually inked it up with my very trusty Diamine Earl Grey. And uh, I wanted to see how this nib writes. Uh, it writes fairly wet. Uh, I think I might make it a little bit wetter though. Uh, typically, Montegrappa nibs don't normally write uh, super wet. Uh, now, in terms of line variation... I would say that you're probably getting a Western medium out of that. Uh, I can push that 18 cat gold nib a little bit more. Uh, but I'm not going to push it any more than that. And you can see here, there's no hard starts or skips on those lines. So that nib is pretty well tuned. Now in terms of ink wetness, let's take a look. And this is really what I would be expecting from a Montegrappa nib. That it's not super wet, it, but it's wet enough. And uh, I, I think that it certainly um, could be a little bit wetter. Um, I typically like to have it go to about half the width of an A4 page. So... I might try and make that nib uh, a little bit wetter, and, and I'm good at tuning my own nibs, so uh, that wouldn't worry me in any way uh, whatsoever. What do I like? What do I dislike about the pen? I, I 
it, this is a pen that that I have lusted after for a long time, and I really, really wanted this pen. Uh, it is an expensive pen, and and I will absolutely say it's an expensive pen, no doubt. Uh, and this is a pen that I wouldn't have paid the retail price for. Uh, not because I don't think it's actually worth that price. I think it probably is. It's a work of art. Uh, it's just that I have limits to what I'm prepared to pay uh, for a pen. This one came along and I managed to get a good deal from the seller. So uh, I didn't pay the retail price. Uh, these retail at five and a half thousand US dollars. The 18 karat gold one is actually 55,000 US dollars. So there's no way I would, would be buying the 18 karat gold one. But this one, uh, I'm, I'm really glad that I bought it. Um, what do I dislike about the pen? Um, there really isn't a lot uh, that I would dislike about the pen. Uh, I like the intricacies of this pen. I like the, the lost wax uh, mold um that that has gone on here the only thing i would say is that this cap is very very big in terms of diameter so it's not going to sit in in a lot of pen cases comfortably so i'm going to probably have to look at a different pen case at some point and typically i normally take anywhere between six and and 12 pens with me and uh I, i'm just even wondering about maybe um a I've got a rickshaw bags case, and like maybe it might just fit in there. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, I've got a two pen case here. Um, it will do. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but it will fit in there. So maybe that's going to be my my uh, pen case of choice. It's going to be a rickshaw bags uh, pen wrap or pen roll, and it's got that lovely fluffy um material inside there so so that that could actually maybe be the way that i carry this pen but i think in a lot of leather cases uh the, it's just not going to fit so i'd say that's probably the only dislike about this pen is uh, that it, it's a great grand work of art but how are you going to carry the pen and and uh, honestly am i going to be carrying this pen very far Possibly not. Uh, I'm, it may not even leave the house, but uh, it, it's a beautiful pen. And again, I'm in awe that I've actually managed to purchase this pen. So there you have it. That's my review of the Montegrappa. Game of Thrones winter is finally here. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.